Awesome, awesome. I got a young lady who's right on the other side of me, and I want to talk a little bit about bullying right. in a little bit. So, I mean, stay tuned um, if you're listening in, but I definitely don't want to forget um, this young lady here, Miss Charmaine, who Thanks. I want to see if I can see her. But I wanted to ask you, what is your role? What is your, what is your day like with uh, Safe Diversity Communities? My day with Safe Diversity Community is awesome every time. I just love to come and volunteer and help out with all the things that, the little things, the little details that um, no one really gets to pay attention to. I get to do and have my little um, step in it and it's like, oh, I helped. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I am an above knee amputee. I was ran over by a city bus um, about five years ago. But um, Mia and Miss Scott met when I was dancing um, for a full ability event. I'm a dancer. I love to dance. Yes. And I, I have big dreams and I'm constantly chasing them no matter what happens in my life. So I just want to inspire all the other kids and people of my age and even people older than me to just never stop chasing your dreams and to yes. always be a part of it. Mm -hmm. All right. What difference is it making with having safe diversity communities come in and, and, and talk with the students or provide programming or mm -hmm. food or whatever? Well, actually, safe diversity helps me um, more than people think because um, I have hidden disorders, and one of them of which, which is a social disorder. Um, I, I, I get really, really nervous a lot, and um, most of the times I don't know what to say, and sometimes I always feel like I'm out of place, and I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. And when I um, come to Mrs. Scott and um, Mr. Freddie, and I feel like I do belong, and I can be a part of this community, Yes. Um, it, it helps me, like they help me help them also, you know? Because we've been seeing shootings in schools. Right. Mm -hmm. These are things that we just never heard. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it was, mm -hmm. that was so rare 20, 30 years ago. I mean, if right. that something like that happened, I mean, that would have been a talk for the entire year. I mean, mm -hmm. now we're seeing this happen week by week, week, by week. maybe mm -hmm. sometimes day by day. Day by day. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about what has been ca the cause of this. I mean, well, to me, a lot of people wonder why kids do what they do, why kids do. Mr. Freddie and I are on the campus all the time, but um, it really has to start at home because when the kids are bullied, mm -hmm. they become bullies. Marina, they become bullies, and they they want to fight back, but they become a dangerous bully because their actions uh, other people have to suffer for their actions but you have to realize that these kids are dealing with hidden mental health you have to understand and you have to see that because I just want to say on the radio that because of my life that started I deal with mental health every day I deal with bipolar depression but I'm able to handle that and come back there with medication because I take that but everybody that deals with mental health is not a bad person that gives them a, like a master. I can point you out and I can know when you're dealing with depression. That's why I was so honored to take Shemaine under my wings mm -hmm. because I know she may have an amputated leg, but she deal with depression really deep. She deal with depression and she has to know right. that she's included into the society because she hadn't been. But being around me and Mr. Fitter, we include her. Inclusiveness is so important. So they have to understand that when you have a child that... You tell them, Marina? Mm hmm Yes. Mm -hmm. These bad things in front of their face, in front of everybody, what else for them to do? Right. It's their heart. Right. Their heart reacts. They don't know how to act, so then they'll go and kill themselves or kill somebody. And in the midst of it, everybody else suffers. So I just would invite everybody to be good to everybody, treat everybody nice. What's going on today is we have a lot different now. We have the cell phones. We have the video. We have the... Um, social media, everything is right there in your hand. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is is that it may not be verbal. It could be where they sent you a text message or it could be where they sent you a video mm -hmm. or anything to mm -hmm. say something negative about you. But also going back to this, another issue that we have that I found out is that we have parents that are bullies. 
And the reason why we need to stop the students now is because if we don't catch them before they leave school, mm -hmm. they're going to become adults and they're going to become, they're already bullies. And so what happens is, is that they eventually get a job and then they go on their job and they're already, they're grown bullies now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just to give you some examples of some parents, you know, that are already bullies is that a child will come home and tell their parent about something that happened at school that may have something to do with the teacher or a principal or a counselor or something. Mm -hmm. And that parent who's already a bully, mm -hmm. they make their children even more worse by saying, oh, don't make me come up out of that school mm -hmm. and blow that school up or tear that oh, school down. Wow. You know, or tear into that teacher. So... In other words, what they're doing is they're reconfirming mm -hmm. with their with their child, mm -hmm. you know, that it's okay to act that way. And so I always said that if you're a teacher, why not start out the day in the classroom once you do roll call or however you do your, your check-in to make sure everybody is there? How about today, students? Mm -hmm. We're going to have a day of no profanity. We're going to have a day of love, okay? Mm -hmm. So now what I want you to do is everybody turn around, shake that person's hand, say good morning. In other words, start the day off where you have some love in the classroom. I was bullied a lot um, from the beginning all the way up until, well, not in the end, because in I was homeschooled from my accident, but... Um, I was overweight um, in my younger years, and also in my 10th grade year, I moved from Louisiana to Texas, which was really hard, so I've had my fair share of bullying and not fitting in and in school, and kids are cruel. Yeah, especially after my accident, although I was homeschooled, there was still a certain level of bullying, because I've... I, made it home after being in the hospital and um, heard different rumors or about like um, she tried to kill herself or just all kinds of different things and it was it was hard bullying is hard and mm -hmm. after after my accident I did attempt suicide but I obviously thank God it, it didn't work but um, bullying is very hard to deal with and it can really mm -hmm. put you in a place that is hard to get out of so mm -hmm. I stand strongly against bullying. Have you seen other people bullied in school and then how did how did the children react to the situation did they just walk away and act like it didn't happen mm -hmm. or didn't didn't tell you know tell a, 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 an, a, an adult? Most of the times that's that's it you just kind of you just kind of leave the situation and try to forget about it and most people, most, most, uh, when, when I was in high school, middle school, elementary school, I didn't want to go tell anyone that I was being bullied because it made me feel like um, I was weak or that it, I just was nothing. And to go tell on someone back, like in that time or whatever, it was like, mm -hmm. oh, you can't tell, or, or, or sometimes things weren't just, weren't done about it. And so it wasn't even um, worth it to put yourself on the line to tell someone that mm -hmm. you're being bullied when there in, ends up being no change. Mm -hmm. And that makes it harder. That makes you hurt more. Mm -hmm. And I'm very um, motivated to try to stop this. Like, it shouldn't be happening. Um, this school should not be um, shot up. All of these things are can be prevented and can be stopped. We just all have to work together and be kind to each other. Yes. My um, yes. life motto is to be good to other people and the world will be good to you. So, you know, Ms. Scott, I mean, you are, um, mm -hmm. you are in the schools and right. you're in the community so much. Mm -hmm. What should parents do mm -hmm. if one, they see for for it was just they they might not know because their child might not tell them. They, they yeah the child might not even tell their parent that they've been bullied. Mm -hmm. So what are signs to look out for that? Or maybe you you between the two of you all can share about that. Well, 
the no bullying law that was passed last September, I think it needs to be amended because I, I think that something should be in the schools that the parents need to know if your child bully another child, there's consequences. And right now there's not because we need to uh, know that what they're doing, uh, we need to come together and save these kids' lives because mm -hmm. bullying is devastating. It is. And, and I say this because, well, as a child, Growing up, I went through a lot of things. So um, I'm, I'm telling you this because I know by the heart. Mm -hmm. I, I can't talk about it because I am a three-time suicide attempt survivor. I'm here to tell you the story. It's because bullying, it hurts. And uh, someone say, oh, well, she tried to kill herself and she tried to do that. But if you have never been suicide, then you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know the pain. Right. So you can't tell me why you do that. You don't know. You have to be able to know how to come back. But the parents has going to have to be coming together. And there should be a class that they should be able to, to go through. Mm -hmm. And there should be some consequence. I think they, they should uh, understand if your child bully, I don't know what the consequence should be. But every school, every district, their parents should have to go through a training. Because sometimes when their kids are have these unique abilities, they feel like they've been left out, but other yeah. children treat them, treat them differently. Right. And just other circumstances. How can people find out more about safe diversity communities? I would love for the community to partner with us and reference to our initiatives that we uh, are doing, and, and it's going to be focusing on bullying. And we are focusing on the parents just have to watch their kids. A lot of them don't know what their kids are doing on these phones and on the computer. They be up all the time. Night. So they have to be able to be more attentive to their kids with the cell phones, especially them with the laptops. But how you can get more involved with, with uh, our Safe Diversity, our website is uh, www.safediversecommunities.org. Our phone number is 832-654-2737. If you would like to email us in reference to anything, that email is safediversity at gmail.com. Just let us know and we'll be around. Mr. Freddie is there to, to tell you anything, but our initiative starting uh, after our event for uh, June the 2nd, we're going to be really focusing on social media and focus on the students because what happened in Santa Fe, that was just, it was just brought it to the point that we need to change the way we uh, other kids are, are, are doing in school. Okay, so again, safediversitycommunities.org. O R G. O R G. Yes. So if you want to find out more, if you want to, are you looking for volunteers? You're looking for yes. donations? Yes. Uh, we always looking for donation because every Saturday, every, every first Saturday in the month, we have our workshop rebuilding lives after Hurricane Harvey, and then we have a workshop for our students and their parents. So we have something every month. So if you would like to donate to us, just just go to the website, uh, www.savediversity communities.org and make a donation. It'll change the lives. Uh, it may save a life of a child. Well, thank you so much. I really want to appreciate all of you for being so transparent. Ms. Scott, Ms. Mr. Freddie and Ms. Charmaine, you are a real Ms. Charmaine was dynamite yes, today. Yes, real yeah. trooper. So I just want to <laughs> say thank you. And thank you for joining us on Convergence. And we will see you again next week. All right.